Good evening. Uh, we present the news summary. The Anti-Corruption Commission, uh, ACCS, uh, has withdrawn uh, the charges against uh, Farin uh, Rajan in the case of uh, forgery and conspiracy to commit forgery. This follows new development, including FCIU's intention to file a motion to confiscate 2 million shares that the false document allowed Ms. Rajan to buy in a company in Singapore. To be recalled, the case concerned a loan of $4 million that Ms. Rajan received in 2016 to buy the 2 million shares in Apollo Towers Holdings PTY PT Singapore. She did it with a false document purported to be a loan agreement she received from a company in my Seychelles. This morning, SCCS lawyer Edmund Vickers informed the court that there has been more discussions and significant progress in the case where the Financial Crime Investigation Unit, FCIU, will file a motion to confiscate the shares under the Proceeds of Crime Civil Confiscation Act. He added that Ms. Rajan is not opposing the confiscation and that she is ready to give evidence against whoever is charged in future in the case. It was to be recalled too that in the conspiracy to commit forgery charge, it was stated that uh, Ms. Rajan conspired with Mukesh and Laura Valabji to forge the document. Mr. Vickers made it clear in court this morning that the Valabji couple has not been charged, but investigation into their role in the case is ongoing. The Food Control Unit from the Public Health Authority is currently investigating cases of suspected food poisoning. A total of 10 cases have been reported. The food poisoning is thought to be caused by eating fish uh, who have fed on toxic planktons. The fish are thought to have been caught within the outer islands, but it is yet to be confirmed. Public Health Commissioner Dr. Jude Gédéon says no cases of monkeypox have been reported in Seychelles, even though more than 20,000 cases have been reported in more than 70 countries. Speaking at a press conference this morning, Dr. Gédéon said it appears the virus is spreading mainly amongst homosexual men, but the general pub population should take good precautions. Symptoms of the disease include a headache, a body aches, and more often a rash. Regarding the treatment for monkeypox, uh, Dr. Gideon said that currently there is no specific treatment for the disease. Some countries, however, have smallpox vaccine that can reduce monkeypox invest infestations. Much of the Seychelles population have taken uh, smallpox vaccines since 1980. Uh, yes, the other panel members were concerned that maybe it is not increasing at exponential rate as other outbreaks have done, like COVID. Uh, but still it is increasing and is spreading and uh, also one fact is that it is uh, largely so far concentrated in one particular group of people uh, i think 90 percent of uh, cases or so uh, among people uh, who have sex with men and uh, therefore uh, there was clear concern at the international level that uh, Lily, if uh, it's not acted on at this point, because among that population. President uh, Wibal Ramkalawan has appointed a new deputy governor of the Central Bank of Seychelles. Brian Komita has been appointed into the post of first deputy governor of the Central Bank of Seychelles. He received his documents of appointment from uh, President uh, Ramkalawan this afternoon. Uh, this was in a small ceremony held at State House. Brian Cometan has been working at the Central Bank since 2001. He has been the head of the Research and Statistics Division since 2011. After 20 years of working for the Central Bank, Brian has now been promoted to the first Deputy Governor. Brian was congratulated by President Wavell Ramkalawan, who assured him that he has the full support of the government. Hello. The reason why you have been appointed is because you are qualified and we have all the confidence in your abilities to work with the central bank, in the central bank, in fulfilling the role of uh, deputy governor. I can, uh, I can tell you that uh, the governor herself was very confident that in you she would be ably assisted. And uh, I am confident that uh, you will continue to, to give your soul to our country and you will do us proud. Brian expressed his excitement in his new position but is aware that it comes with a lot of responsibilities. 
frankly, uh, the feeling is mixed. Frankly, you, you sort of feel uh, appreciated in terms of the contribution you put in uh, your work to be recognized by the central bank governor and the president to be earmarked for this post. Obviously, you feel appreciated because I've been working at the central bank for more than 20 years. So it means uh, I've grown my career at the central bank. So you feel sort of happy in a way. But at the same time, uh, you know the role <coughs> given first deputy governor is an important role. And the central bank also is an important institution. Uh, there is the challenge that comes with the post. So what I mean, the thinking is now to make sure I give my best to ensure I contribute in uh, all possible way to ensure the central bank moves forward. His appointment will take effect on the 1st August. He succeeds Christophe Edmond, who stepped down from the position in April to become the CEO of Nouveau Banque. Mr. Cometon will serve a six-year term. The high prices of commodities worldwide is causing an increase in the demand of foreign exchange in the country. Since the start of the July, uh, since the start of July, up to the 26, uh, 62 million dollars were collected, but the demand reached 64 million dollars. During a press conference this morning, the governor of the central bank, Kaolina Bell, said that people and the government need to prioritize what is being imported in order to reduce the loss of foreign exchange in non-essential goods. She reiterated the fact that the Ukraine war and the monkeypox global health emergency brings uncertainties when it comes to economic development, so it's better to be well prepared in case the situation gets worse. The government should intensify its effort to minimize the amount of household waste that end up in the lower end of rivers around Victoria. This uh, came out in the fourth meeting of the high-level committee for flood-free Victoria held this morning at State House. Members of the committee visited the main rivers around Victoria and Montfleury on Tuesday and they presented their findings to President from Kalawan. It came out during the meeting that people who dump their waste in inappropriate places or straight into the rivers will be taken to task. We will go for advising them first. We will collaborate with them. We will uh, uh, do some educational programs so to, add, to, to uh, uh, communicate with them so that uh, they know at least uh, what is expected of them. However, further to that, uh, if we don't uh, see the end result of our uh, activities or efforts, then it will move to the next step of uh, enforcement on these uh, people that are still doing these illegal activities in the rivers. So from now on, this is the next step we're going to take. Preparation is well underway for the most anticipated international art exhibition as of Sunday the 31st of July. 45 artists from 20 different countries will be participating in the Biennial Contemporary Arts Exhibition. The opening will take place at the Seychelles Chinese Cultural Center, Pagoda. However, members of the public will get a chance to view the exhibition at various locations such as Kafudeza Gallery, National History Museum, Eden Art Space and Kenwin House on Mai. On Prale, members of the public will get their chance to visit two exhibitions at Le Muria Resort and Le Laurier Hotel. Martin Kennedy, the curator of the exhibition, says the preparation has been intense as they are coordinating different artists, but with the support of the local technical team and a group from Venice, Italy, everything is going according to plan. It's been a real roller coaster ride, if I can put it like that, because of course we're coordinating lots and lots of different artists from different countries who are doing lots of different things. To be honest with you, artists who are exhibiting paintings or freestanding sculpture, it's very easy actually, right? But an artist that is putting together an installation with projections and cameras and lights, and then it's a lot more difficult. And so I would say that it's been very challenging, but people have worked together as a team. And of course, the nice thing is that many of the artists are producing the most ambitious work of their career. I mean, certainly our Seychellois artists have really risen to the occasion. And they are, you've seen yourself, I'm sure, they are doing some absolutely amazing things, amazing. So I think that there's a very nice 
cross-fertilization of ideas, people learning from each other, uh, people learning new techniques, taking risks, experimenting. This is exactly what we want to see at an international exhibition of contemporary art. And this was a new summary. Thank you for your attention.